Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode on TypeScript design patterns. And in this module, we'll be discussing the proxy pattern. When we look at the definition, it states that it provides a surrogate or placeholder for another object to control access to it. Um, and the UML class diagram, which is very easy to explain, uh, shows that. So when we look at the client, it will uh, use a specific subject or the interface of a subject and that subject has a request and then instead of calling the real subject from the client the client will never call the real subject but always accesses the subject to a proxy which also implements of course the same interface and then the proxy will forward the request to the real subject and this allows for uh, example lazy loading so let's say we have a web service and the web service returns a lot of customers then uh, when we use a proxy this allows us for the web server to return uh, proxies to the customers with just the id of the customer so instead of loading the complete information on the customer we return a proxy which has just the id of the customer and when we call the get name for example method then the proxy could go back to the service fetch the name from the customer and then return uh, the name of that customer so the proxy in this case allows for lazy loading another thing you can do is you can add for example authentication so before we go to the service we authenticate ourselves and then go to the service um, there is a difference between the decorated pattern and the proxy pattern and the decorated pattern is there to add functionality to an existing object uh, in runtime and the proxy is there to not add uh, functionality in form of methods because the proxy will just implement this exact same interface uh, without any extra methods but in compile time it already knows about the subject it will be proxying and most of the times the proxies create their real subject internally themselves uh, so i created a, an example so let's head over to visual studio so when we look at that i have an interface i calculator and I also uh, which has just some basic methods a value uh, sorry property a value uh, add method subtract method multiply method and reset method just a basic interface and then we have an, uh, a real object a calculator which implements i calculating and it just has indeed the value the get value the add value the subtract the subtract the multiply and the reset so what i then did is i created a proxy and the proxy of course has the same method but it adds logging to the calculator so instead of just calling the calculator we now have a chance to inside the method calls add logging so we log the request to the output screen so what we see here is we have a calculator proxy which also implements the iCalculator and internally it creates a new calculator object and all method calls the get value will forward the request to the internal real subject that it is proxying for so the value calls uh, get value it just returns the calculator value when we call add however we do of course call this real subject this calculator add value but we also add logging so we log that we start adding and we log when we finished add, uh, uh, when we are finished adding and then we log the value of the object then we only then we return the result the same for subtract we of course call the real subject that we are proxying for calculator subtract so we call that method but we also add logging to this method okay and that's what we do for all the rest of the methods as well so when we in our load event create a new calculator a new i calculator object when we assign that we do not assign it the calculator object the calculator class that we have here but instead of that we just create a new calculator proxy when we then call add or subtract a multiply 
the output screen will also show us the complete logging of these actions. So when we look at the result over here, we see that we have indeed a calculator and when we add 3, we see that the proxy of course will start adding 3, then it is finished adding 3 and then the value is now 3. And this is all outputted because of the fact that our proxy to the calculator is adding logging functionality. Okay, the, uh, It is important to understand that with, especially with a proxy, you can just replace the proxy with an instance of the object itself because they both implement the exact same interface. So let's head back to Visual Studio. If we would change the code, let's stop this for a second, and we just create a new calculator, our code would work still exactly the same. All we did is we instead of a proxy, we use we created a new calculator. So what I expect to see right now is without any logging messages over here, we will just see the final result of the calculator. So when we head over to Internet Explorer again, start debugging, then head over to the proxy. You will notice that indeed the code works exactly the same, the result is the same, but because we did not call the proxy, but the calculate, this is not refreshed, but we can see that in the output that it is uh, just calling the calculator clause itself, so there's no logging inside the output. And that's how you use the proxy to add functionality or to, uh, for example, like lazy loading, authentication, logging, uh, uh, that kind of stuff. That's how you use the proxy pattern.